Jason. It might be an obvious answer, but <clears throat> are you concerned with, you know, uh, how I guess it appears how flat you guys have kind of played over the last couple of games in such a time where urgency and, you know, good play is needed? I didn't think we were flat tonight. Um, I thought we came out pretty strong and got off to a good start. Uh, but, you know, what killed us was uh, the, the rebounding. We, uh, obviously, we're, we have a size disadvantage, uh, but that doesn't account for the, uh, the 16 offensive boards they had. Uh, I, I thought at least seven or eight times we didn't box out. Somebody came in from the weak side. We didn't hit them, and uh, they got an extra possession out of it. And when that happens, it's almost impossible to win. They got nine more field goal attempts and nine more or eight more free throws. Uh, so basically about 13 extra possessions, uh, you know, coming from um, mostly the uh, the rebounding differential. And you can't win that way. So um, not disappointed in the effort, but I'm disappointed in the lack of attention to detail in terms of rebounding the ball. Does that signal to you a tired team? No, no. It signals to me a modern team. Uh, this isn't the modern NBA. Guys don't box out. Um, it's just the, it's just the way it is. I, every night on league pass, I see the same thing. Uh, players let guys come in from the weak side, and they think, um, I'll just get the rebound. Um, it's, a, it's a disease that's rampant in the NBA. Problem is, if you're a really small team like us, um, then it's going to hurt you more than it'll help other te- than it, than it will hurt other teams. Does this game feel like it comes with extra baggage because it happened in the shadow of the Mavs game? I don't even know what that means, Kareth. I'm saying a a game like this after a blowout loss to the Mavs, if this would have been an ordinary, like you win some, you lose some game, maybe at a different part in the regular season, but does it feel like it's kind of a culmination of things? Um, No, you know what? I I thought we came out uh, ready to play. Um, I thought we got beat by a team that is hot right now, that, that's playing at a really high level, that did more good things than, than we did, particularly uh, in terms of extra possessions, um, getting loose balls, getting rebounds. I thought they, uh, they played better than we did, frankly. But, um, you know, I thought, I, I thought we were focused. Um, we just we weren't good enough tonight. Is it easier to take when the three-point shooting is coming from guys that you kind of don't mind having them shoot those shots? No. <laughs> I mean, you, don't, you you weren't hurt by their big scores for the most part. It was the other guys. Yeah, I mean, Rubio getting 26, obviously, is, uh, is, is a surprise. You know, he's not that kind of scorer, but he's obviously capable, and he had a great game tonight. So I give him really uh, a lot of credit. Six assists, no turnovers. You know, his defense was great. So... You know, Rubio had a hell of a game, and then Edwards really kind of took over the fourth. Uh, so more than anything, I, I give them credit. Um, but I told our team if if we boxed out, we very easily could have won that game, and we didn't box out. You just touched on you know the other guys on Minnesota getting going. You mentioned offensive rebounding, and before the game, you said this needed to be the best defensive game of the season. How would you grade the defense tonight? Uh, other than the not, not boxing out, I thought we played pretty well defensively. We held them to 46% shooting. Uh, you know, the, I thought we forced some difficult shots, but part of defense is finishing the possession with a rebound or with a loose ball. So we did not do that, and uh, so it was not a great defensive night. Was your impression of the, uh, the 23s that they made, just, again, them making – Tough shots. Do you think you contested those shots well? Well, they made they made some tough ones. We made a few mistakes, um, but they're a really good shooting team too. Uh, you know, they've built their team around perimeter shooting, uh, and and you know, so you got guys like uh, Hernan Gomez coming off the bench, uh, you know, to, to knock down shots, and Nas Reed. Uh, they have shooting big men, which which spreads the floor, which makes it difficult to uh, to cover everybody. Um, Rubio was probably the key guy for them tonight. I thought we overhelped a little bit off of him at times, but, uh, you know, again, I, I'm just going to keep going back to the rebound, uh, category, uh, especially because there were so many egregious, uh, errors in terms of, uh, 
you know, lacking uh, box out. Is it Steve, to James box out? BNC Sports out the way that Minnesota is offensively? All right, go ahead, Wes. When, when, when Minnesota is spread out that way, does that make it more difficult to box out? Because I guess you just have to be aware of different angles, guys coming in from different angles. Well, um, not really. I mean, there are, there are going to be a lot of long rebounds. You know, they took 41 threes, so there's going to be some long ones, and you're not going to get them all. The ones I'm talking about are, are when we specifically did not turn, find a – find a guy who's coming in and box him out, hit him. You know, it's not even like a college box out where you, you know, or high school box out. It's in the NBA. It's more about locating the guy and just putting your hand or your forearm in his chest and letting somebody else go chase the ball. So, you know, we were, we were staring up at, at butterflies, you know, up in the air, just looking up and eyes were coming right by us. So, um, that doesn't matter what what kind of possession is, what kind of shot it is. It's just the awareness to to go hit somebody. Steve James Hill with BNC Sports. Uh, Steph had it going as he always does down the stretch, and then uh, Wiggins uh, was able to return to a court that he had played on. When you think about Andrew's game tonight, what do you think about? Well, it's happy for him that he that he got going. You know, uh, especially right away in the first half. Uh, I think he had 18 points at the half. I know the return here meant a lot to him. You know, he spent a lot of a lot of years here, and uh, he got a nice reception from the fans. And uh, so I was happy for Andrew that he played well individually and he scored. Uh, obviously, Andrew would much rather uh, have the victory. Uh, so it was, uh, I'm sure, bittersweet for him. If you got a, a obviously a very thin roster and really thin up front with your with your bigs, Draymond and Loon. Uh, where are they? Do you have a feel for where they are physically? Because it looks like a time that both of those guys are out there really trying to labor and get through this. Yeah, you know, I, I check in with both of them um, periodically, and they both tell me they're feeling good. And um, you know, they've got a, a heavy load on their shoulders for sure. You know, just trying to trying to compete and, and carry uh, uh, a young team defensively. Uh, you know, those two guys have been through the battles. They know what this is about. So. Uh, they're carrying a heavy load, trying to teach uh, a young team, you know, how to win, how to defend, how to, to gut out uh, possessions and, you know, grind them out. And uh, But they're both doing a, a, a fantastic job. I thought Draymond was uh, tremendous tonight, just keeping us in it. Uh, but we just didn't have enough. Why do you think boxing out or not boxing out has become so common throughout the league? Because most of these guys didn't have a high school and college coach yelling at them for a combined eight straight years. Uh, you know, it's a different world today, and players grow up uh, in a different way in terms of the, just their basketball background. And um, the, the detail is often, uh, you know, the, 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 the thing that is lacking. Uh, players have never had more skill than they have today, in my mind. I'm, I'm amazed by the skill level. Um, but the little things, getting back in transition. Every night on TV, I see uh, teams let a guy run past them uh, in transition for a layup. We do it. Every team does it. Um, if you did that 25 years ago, your coach would take you out and he wouldn't play you again. Um, now everybody does it. And as a coach, you can't take everybody out. Um, so there are certain parts of the game that are just they're just different. Players aren't as locked in on those things, uh, I think, just because it's a different it's a different time. 